Good afternoon guys, Dark Purple Shadow here and today we're talking about the current pricing situation with a lot of the GPUs and CPUs currently on the market and I'm going to start this video by telling you that it is a terrible time right now leading up to Christmas and probably early next year to be building a gaming computer or to be building any sort of high-end PC for the fact of the matter is the current pricing structure is very very toxic a lot of the companies that we rely on for our high-end hardware and let's be honest when it comes to high-end when it comes to gpus there's only nvidia and when it comes to cpus right now there's only amd so these two i wouldn't say they're, they're a monopoly but they effectively have cornered the market so if you want the best processor for gaming you're gonna get a 7800 x3d right now and when it releases you'll be getting a 9800 x3d which is set to be slightly better at a slightly higher price but it will be better and it will be similar in many ways as well which is what people want because the 1700 x3d was the goal it was the cristiano ronaldo of cpus it was doing a great job now the problem is the companies we rely on for these products are big billion dollar corporations they don't mess around um from what I can see with the new data analytics technologies and the market technologies they have, they analyze all the sales they make, they analyze consumer spending patterns, and they've realized that if they release the 9800X3D, while the 7800X3D is still on the shelves, they will cannibalize their own sales. And when it comes to companies, they wanna make sure that their new product sells well because most companies work on a quarterly cycle and they're quite short-sighted. Instead of thinking about the fact that the 9800X3D will creep up in market share as the, the market matures and buys it, they will be like, wow, we have sold 500,000 9800X3Ds. We expected to sell a million. We've done a terrible job. We're terrible people. Even if partially the reason for that was because they still sold 300,000 7800 X3Ds in that we quarter. Do not care. Now I'm just making these numbers out of thin air, but I'm just giving you examples here. If the 7800 X3D cannibalizes the market for the 9800 X3D, it will look bad on that company's quarterly reports. And for that reason, companies have started to make sure that they're not letting us buy the old stuff that's worth buying when the new stuff comes out. So right now, if you're in the UK, you cannot get a 7800X3D for probably under 400 pounds. You, you in theory can, but you're probably gonna be looking at an odd sale here and there. When earlier this year, around July time, you could probably pick one out up for 300 pounds. I think some deals even existed for just under 300 pounds. Now, what does this mean? Essentially in dollars, the price of the 7800X3D has gone up around $150 since about the midpoint of this year. Now the processor hasn't gotten any better. All that's happened is new stuff has released and it's disappointed everyone. Everybody's realized that the 7800X3D is still the king. AMD know that if the 9800X3D, which is a newer processor, when it releases in November, which is when it's due to release, on sale, they want to make sure that the market for the 7800X3D is as depleted as possible. They kind of justify this by saying, obviously, the manufacturing processes had to switch over to the 9800X3D and they had to make sure that the stock was clear, this, that and the other. The truth is a lot of this comes down to profit margins, which is really annoying because essentially what they're doing is they're getting rid of one product they could probably afford to sell and still make a profit on to make sure that we're upsold the better product in theory, quote unquote, the newer product, which essentially will give them a bigger profit margin. So what these companies are doing is making sure that we have no other option but to buy the newer chip, even if that newer chip might not essentially be worth it when it comes to price to performance compared to the older one. Now, do I think the 9800X3D will not be worth it? I think it will be fine. I think from what I've seen, the prices, the MSRP is toted to be around 400 to 450, maybe even $500. Even at the $500 mark in the UK, you're probably looking at about 400 pounds. Realistically for a brand new processor, I wouldn't mind paying that. Now, the truth is, when this processor comes out, you will not be able to buy it for a long time. Scalpers will be everywhere. I don't know why, but scalpers still exist and people will just be buying it to resell it for a quick 50 to 100 pounds. And that's just how these things work. It's unlikely that when the chip goes on sale, you'll be able to get it straight away. Very unlikely. So realistically, you're not going to be able to buy a brand new processor without overpaying until, in my opinion, 
around the end of the first quarter of next year. So even if these processes are released this year, you're probably not going to be looking to buy them till late February, maybe early March, somewhere around that period. Because realistically, the, the scalpers and the market, everything will be in the air. The stock won't stabilize till then. So right now, we're in a bit of a bind. The 7800 X3D is no longer financially, in my opinion, a good decision because the price has shot up so high. You do have other options, other less desirable processors, such as the 7900X, which is still an amazing processor. But the truth is nobody wants to get that when they know they could have got the 7800X3D for a similar or slightly lower price not too long ago. And even those other 7000 series are still relatively expensive. Now, you might think this problem is just with the CPU market right now. And I would be happy if it was because it's not a big deal. You can just wait things out. Realistically, the CPU prices will stabilize eventually. The problem is the GPU situation is in a similar place. 4090s are slowly dwindling in supply so actually the prices have started to go up slightly at least in the UK I know the process in Germany the prices have already gone up and that is kind of spreading to the 4070 situation as well and the 4080 situation so now we have a lot of these situations where the prices are changing very quickly all the time so right now I would hold off on buying anything I wouldn't get scalped I wouldn't get scammed I'd wait on it because realistically Another this is the cycle of life it's supply and demand things change don't be buying things at the worst time possible and right now I feel like it's about as bad as you can get you're right at the end of one life cycle and they're really milking every penny possible from that life cycle as possible before the new one comes in you don't want to be left with a short straw you don't want to pay $400 plus for a 7800X3D when the 9800X3D comes out because right now a lot of people fear that there won't be a big difference and it's not about a big difference it's about the realistic matter of fact that is you don't want to be with a three-year-old or a two-year-old chip when the new ones just come out paying the same price for it you don't really want to be there I don't I know you don't and for that reason you're too late to jump on the the bandwagon with the 4000 series and the 7800X3D unless you get a fire deal I'm talking you get things for way less than you should get them for stay away maybe buy used if you really want it once the new stuff comes out and the market gets flooded with everybody upgrading peace